Okay, so I'm Jackie Wilson from the Emotions Toolkit. And I'm Debs from the Emotions Toolkit. Brilliant. So you were telling me about your Emotions Toolkit. Tell me about that. How did it get developed? What is it? <laughs> so I've been teaching self-education to children in schools for a number of years now. And one of the elements I think is really important is children learning resilience tools, learning in the moment strategies to manage how they feel so that they're empowered to know that they have the ability to calm themselves at any point. Yeah, so I worked, when I finished teaching, I started a company called Stone Stories, um, which is creative storytelling, helping to develop vocabulary and language and communication skills through story. Um, and then we were connected via someone else who said, you two need to meet. <laughs> and as soon as we met, it was like, we need to put in early intervention. This is something we can use the stones, the images, the children connect with them, they're tactile, multisensory. Show us the stones, show us the stones. So we have... This is the early years um, key stage one toolkit. So we have each of the stones has um, an image that has a strategy on it. So some of those are mindfulness techniques, some are yoga breathing techniques, and some are techniques that are um, basically um, helping feel good hormones be, be produced. Um, so each of the strategies are taught little and often to the children when they're in moments of calm yeah. so that when they actually develop um, any any issues or come across any adversity they've got a strategy that's a go-to thing that's in the moment they don't need a resource they don't need to go and get something they've got something that they've learned yeah. and can just use in that moment so can you tell us about a few of the strategies on these specific stones maybe you could show us a couple and how um, Yes, so bunny breathing actually is one of the things that you actually notice young children do naturally. So if you've ever seen a child fall over and they're, they're really upset and they go <laughs> like this, they actually are actually starting to do that bunny breathing. So bunny breathing is three quick breaths in and then a long one out. And you actually train them to do that. And the feeling of calm that comes over them is actually really tangible. It's a wonderful one. And they, little, young children really connect with bunny as well. So with the Emotions Toolkit, we actually have a story, Spread the Smile. Mm -hmm. um, and in the story, Jack and Jane go on an adventure and they meet bunny. And bunny teaches them bunny breathing to begin with because they're a little bit worried. And then through the story, as they meet different bits of adversity, they get taught another one of the strategies. Um, and we act it out with them and, and do the sort of yoga moves and things along with that. I want to hear another one. You told me a good one about the feather. Oh, the feather. So that's a, a technique which is basically just imagining you've got a feather on your hand and then what you would do is put your emotions, so say you're feeling angry, you put it in the feather, you just take a deep breath and blow it away. And because the mind doesn't know the difference between real and imagined, the brain then is ready to let go of that emotion and come back to a more peaceful state. And you said that the kids came up with that one. Yes, yes they did. It was actually inspired I think through my yoga teaching. So we just practiced breathing with using feathers. And so one of the children um, used that idea of using a feather but to put their emotions in it and just let them go. So it's a process of understanding that's how I'm feeling but I'm ready to let go of it. And they knew to incorporate the breath in with that as well because yeah. of all the other teaching that had gone on before, so that was really useful. And are all the techniques about breathing? Or um, No, we have some that are just jumping up and down, so okay. they're releasing feel-good hormones. I know your daughter actually finds that one really useful, so if she's feeling angry or a bit pent up and frustrated, just standing and jumping for a couple of minutes she's got a big grin on her face and she's giggling and it's just an automatic response <laughs> to feel, to feel happy yeah and actually that's the point is that you're modeling the behavior all of the time you're doing it together you're, you're showing them that that's the way forward really so which is your favorite this one. this one. Take five. So with this one, um, it's again about breathing, but there's also that connection. So you're sliding your finger up there and breathing in as you go up, pause, and then breathing out. And you do it at your own pace. You can do it under the table during a spelling test. Whatever's needed in that moment to calm you, but actually I find that really, really nice. It's just a nice amount of time because you've got a time scale. You can't just do it quickly and it be done. You've got to get all the way to the little finger and then just feel calm again and it, it, I don't know, it just makes sense. I get tingles. <laughs> And so the kids carry the stones around them or you, you've got... Those are a, sort of a teaching resource and they're in the classroom for them to access. Um, they're great in a nurture group, a nurture room for them to be able to tap into as well. And the idea is that um, 
staff and other adults, family members can carry the key rings just as a little prompt and a reminder when you're out and about you wouldn't need to carry the big heavy bag of pebbles with you <laughs> but you've got the key ring which is just a reminder that that's what you've decided to do to make yourself feel better. And there's a kind of teaching resource that goes with this all as well? Absolutely, so. yeah. So we have um, books for families, for Key Stage 1 um, and early years and also for Key Stage 2 as well. Fantastic. And is this, uh, can people like order online? Or? Yep. Yeah. So they can order online at emotionstoolkit.com and we also have um, the Stone Story Company on Etsy um, that's also available to purchase on there as well. And we have YouTube videos as well which yeah. we just started a YouTube channel which explains each resource so you get a bit more familiar with it if you're deciding whether to purchase one or not. Brilliant. Thank you.